Is your long arm ready for a spa day? Stick around and we'll help you with all the tips to get it ready to go. Welcome to Watch and Learn. I'm Kim Sandberg. And I'm Christina Whitney. And today we are going to walk through the steps of taking your machine in for what we like to call a spa day. We all want to have a spa day, exactly. including our machine. Exactly. And they do need it. They do. Yeah. They do. And just to note, sometimes the spa day includes maybe a little bit of repair work, depending <laughs> on what's going on with your machine. These tips would work the same way with that. Exactly. But, Okay, so the first question is, how often does your machine need to go in for a spa day? Well, if it's for repairs, mm -hmm. whenever you have an yeah. ugly event. Yes. <laughs> um, for just a regular spa, the, you know, the yearly checkup, mm -hmm. every two years or 10 million stitches. Exactly. Yeah. So whichever one comes first. Yep. So you want to make sure you get it in there because the techs go in and they do all of the lubing. Mm -hmm. and all of that fun stuff on the inside of the machine that you don't ever have to deal with. Yes. So it's, exactly. it's worth, worth letting them take care of that to keep your machine up and running. Exactly. And you do want to keep these machines running. It's kind of like changing the oil in your car. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure and do this because it preserves your investment. It does. Yep. Now, a lot of people complain that, oh, it's such a big machine. Mm -hmm. How do I get it in? How do I get it off my frame? Oh. So for the very, very lucky people, some technicians will actually come to your home and yep. do it. Yep. For the majority of owners, yeah. you're going to have to take it in. And so that's what we're going to kind of walk through today. Exactly. So now we get a lot of calls from people that say, I can't take it in. I, I physically not strong enough to lift my machine. Yeah. So this is my tip. Make a plate of cookies, <laughs> find a strong guy <laughs> or a strong woman because we're, uh -huh. we're strong. Or a couple. <laughs> yep. Yep. And just ask a friend or a neighbor or family mm -hmm. member and I'm sure somebody's willing to come over and help you yeah. lift that up into your car. When you get to the shop, the technician or yeah. one of the shop owners or somebody will be able to help you get it out of the car yeah. and into the shop. Um, but speaking of shops yes. and taking them in, every technician has different requirements of mm -hmm. what they want you to bring with you. Yes. So some, hopefully all of them want your machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, something's wrong. Yeah. Um, some want you to bring the carriage with it. Uh -huh. Others don't. Yep. Some want your Pro Stitcher tablet with it. Some don't. Mm -hmm. Same with the cables. Mm -hmm. So make sure when you're setting up an appointment that you communicate with them and find out exactly what pieces they need you to bring with you. Because you don't want to take a bunch of stuff in, have it get lost because they're not using it. Yeah. And then you get back home and you're missing cords. Yeah. Or you take stuff in and you didn't take the cord in that they need. Yes. So communication. Yep. 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 And most, most techs have a list of what they, mm -hmm. what they need depending on what's going on with your machine. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Well. So if you're taking it in just for a regular checkup. Spa day. Yeah. Yeah, spa day. Um, you more than likely won't have a quilt on. Yes. So you won't have to deal with that. But if you do happen to have an ugly event, mm -hmm. break a needle, throw the timing out, something mm -hmm. that's not pleasant, you're more than likely going to have a quilt that you're partially done with. Uh-huh. So, Kim, do you want to show us yeah. what things that we're going to do to get this quilt off? Yes. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do um, before I do anything else is I've got my glide foot on my machine. I'm going to switch back to one of the two feet that came with the machine to send it in. So I'm just going to take a second really quick and take my glide foot off. So you're putting we'll the closed see. toe foot or the open toe foot yep. on that came with the machine. Exactly. And I'll hand that to you, and Christina. And then your special foot that you spent extra money on. Yes. You get to keep that. Yes. You want to make sure. And make a note of which foot you sent. Mm -hmm. So, oh, mm -hmm. great idea mm -hmm. going along with that. So not even just making a note, mm -hmm. but we, we were talking about this with the cords. Take, Take a, a picture. picture. Yep. This is where, like, right now, I would take a picture just like that and snap a picture. Okay, I do have my open toe foot on the machine. Excellent. So the next thing I want to do is snip my thread. 
because I don't want to send in a cone of thread. So we're going to okay. pop that off. I do want to leave the bobbin case in. Um, I've, I've never had a tech ask me to take the bobbin case out, and I usually just leave the bobbin in that I'm currently using. And to be honest, a lot of issues that people have is the bobbin case. Mm -hmm. Like something has happened to damage the bobbin case. Yep. So if you don't take the bobbin case in and they're just using a regular bobbin case, they're yep. going to say your machine is running fine. Yep. They won't be able to find the problem. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So while we're at the front of the machine, yes. let, let's skip unloading the quilt for just okay. a second because okay. we're, we're already here. Okay. Um, let's talk about the Pro Stitcher tablet. Yeah. If the retailer does not want you to bring the actual tablet in, mm -hmm. Again, take pictures yep. of all of those cords. Take a picture from the side like this, where your cords are in, so that you'll have a record of where everything goes. You also want to take a picture here at the top of the distribution box of where these cables plug in. And if you happen to have a USB in here like I do, be sure and pull that out. You don't want to send that in either with uh, to the tech. And remember, if you have Pro Stitcher Premium, you can actually tilt this tablet so that you can take a good picture because you've got cables here on the top and there's cables here on the bottom. The ones on the bottom you can actually leave in yeah. because they connect the machine to the distribution box which is gonna stay on your machine. But these ones up here on the top, I like to undo these two. If I'm not going to take in my Pro Stitcher tablet, I'm gonna take those two off leave these two in the side of my tablet and then I will just slide my tablet right out and I will put that in a safe place so that nothing will happen to it. And then this, the front of the machine now is ready for transport. Mm -hmm. If you do not have a pro stitcher, just leave that screen on. But remember it does tilt and you can just kind of tuck it so it's nice and safe there against the machine. And if you happen to have some scissors, be sure and pull those off too. Yeah. <laughs> You want to keep your scissors. Yep, exactly. So that takes care of the front of the machine. Mm -hmm. um, just a note, I have had some techs say to take off the thread mast. I've always left mine on when I've done it, but I, did, I have had somebody mention that. So if they do ask you to remove that thread mast, just go ahead and undo it and take it off. Uh, next step, let's go ahead and take the quilt off now. Should we do okay. that? Yep. Okay. So, Christina, if you want to loosen up down there, um, flip up the ratchet stop. And I'll set this back here. Remember, one of the great things about our frames is that all of these have, <laughs> the leaders are all Velcroed on. So that means I don't actually have to unload the quilt. You do, however, want to detach it from these poles because we've got to move the poles around. So I can leave it just like this, and that way when I come back and I'm ready, to, I'm ready to get quilting again, all I have to do is put that on there, roll everything up, tighten it up, and I'm ready to quilt, right? So much faster. So much faster. Okay. Okay, next oh, I'm getting ahead of step. Of yeah, next step. Let's walk around to the back of the machine, and there's a few more cables we've okay. got to unplug. We're at the back of the machine. Let's take a look at what you need to do. And let's be sure and stress... This is an Amara 20, so what we're showing here would work for an Amara 20 and Amara 24. The cords are gonna look just a little bit different depending on the machine you have. So once again, before you do anything, get your phone out and snap a picture. Yep, you wanna be able to put the cords back together when you get the machine back. Yep. Um, also for our stationary machines, it's the same process. Take mm -hmm. pictures of where the cords are and then you'll just need to slide it out of the table. Yep. So. I've also seen people, I think this is a really great tip, they will actually take painter's tape and put around the cords and write on them what they are for. So for example, this goes to the encoder. So they would just put a little piece of tape there and write encoder so that you know. Um, so unplugging things. Now you got me all excited with tape. I, I would put a purple one here <laughs> and purple here and purple here so I know what the cord attaches That's a to, great idea. then a different color. Actually, that is a great idea to color code it. Be sure to snap pictures along the way so that you remember where everything goes. Yep. Now, usually the techs will say you don't need to bring your carriage because they have carriages, especially if you're just doing a spa day. Um, usually the only time you have to take your carriage in is if you have a pro stitcher and there's, there seems to be some kind of an issue. Yep. So 
when we unplug, we'll just unplug everything from the machine and not from the carriage. So let's go ahead and unplug, Christina. Okay, so we're gonna unplug this encoder here. Yeah. I'm and just gonna leave it attached to the carriage yep. area. And this is the Pro Stitcher um, motors cable. And just a note, right here is what we call the P-clip. This should actually be in there. Um, we kind of jumped the gun and already took it out. So you'll just, just know that you'll need a little screwdriver to undo that and then um, just take that and unplug it there. And then your power cord. Your tech may ask you to bring in the power cord or may not, but either way you want to pull it out of the machine because you want to just be moving the machine without having anything hanging it from it. Yep when you're moving it around. Now, with that power cord, mm -hmm. um, we have two power cords. Yes, we do. So you, it's very important that yep. you make sure which one is the locking power cord and where it goes, because this red, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you keep that one up here and you don't get them in the wrong spot and get it stuck. Yep. Okay? So, you once again, tape around them. Very good idea. <laughs> Noting what they are. <laughs> okay, so now we have the machine completely unhooked from our carriage, so it's time to get the machine off of here. And what we have to do is we actually have to take the poles here and pull them out. It's easiest if you move the machine all the way down to one end of the frame. And then what we'll do is we'll just pop these, this pole over there. And it's great to have a friend, although you can do this yourself if you need to. And just set those to the side. And now the machine, we can easily lift off. We'll scoot this down a little bit because we're just going to set the machine to the side. Um, if you are somebody who doesn't have a strong person in your life to help you lift your machine and you're going to do a buddy lift, uh, that's what Christina and I are actually going to do here. We'll show you how to do it. So one person does the front of the machine and one person does the back of the machine. And we're just going to set the machine right here. We're just going to move it over here and set it out of the way. You want to take this down to your car. If you have like a cart or something like that, that can help you move it around your house. Take it down to your car. But you wanna take, there's a golden opportunity right now, isn't there, Christina? Yes. So I'm gonna unplug, I'm gonna unplug my carriage so that it's turned off. What's my golden opportunity here, even if I don't have to take my carriage in? Oh my goodness, this is the best time to flip your carriage over and get any threads out of there make sure everything is clean, those wheels. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we'll get thread that will get caught up in, in the wheels, but also in our little gears. gear right here from the Pro Stitcher. Yeah, the two so, gears. So this is prime time to be able to mm -hmm. check that and get any issues taken care of before you put the machine back on. And you know, I'm looking at this carriage and I'm going, why are there no threads on it? I just remembered this it's is a brand, brand new, new machine. <laughs> So normally, I mean, I don't know about you, Christina, but I always have thread wrapped around the wheels. And be sure and yeah. check in this space in between here, mm -hmm. between the wheel and the carriage, right back in here, because there's usually will be some things there. Check your little um, encoder wheel, too. Yep. Time to get the here. tweezers out. Yep. And that's why it's so important that when you're stitching and you're clipping threads, try to get them into the garbage, if possible, to yep. prevent that problem from happening. But it, it still happens. Exactly. To be honest. It does. <laughs> <laughs> At least in my house it does. <laughs> All right, okay. so once you've gotten that cleaned, you can just go ahead and flip it back over and put it back on. And you can just leave that sitting right there. And then we'll go ahead and take the machine out to the car. And we're going to show you how to load it into your car. We've actually got a little extra tip for that. Yep. Um, but just a note, if you happen to be shipping your machine to get it uh, serviced, yeah. The best thing to do is to make sure you're held on to that original box. Yeah, with the styrofoam. With the styrofoam. Yeah. And just a note, if you do need to pack your machine to send it back, you will need to remove the handlebars from the machine. And depending on which machine you have will depend on how you remove it. You can easily find that information in the user manual. Yep. It shows how to put it in, so you just do the reverse to take it out. Yep. And the thread mast as well. Yep. Yep, you'll want to take both of those off to ship in, to ship your machine if, you're, if you need to ship it a ways. Um, let's go to the car. Let's take the machine out to the car. And whenever you're ready. Okay, we're here at Kim's car. We've got the Moxie and I'm going to set it in on the seat. If you don't want it to put on your seat, you can always put down an emergency quilt. 
Do you mm -hmm. care if it's on your seat? Nope, go right ahead. Okay. So you pull it in. And then we're going to seat belt it in. This is our baby. We want to take care of it. So Kim, can I hand that to you? Yep. Okay. okay. We'll just click okay. that right in there. Seat belt it in. And ready to go. Bye. <laughs> we're back from the shop. The machine has been tuned up. It's ready to go. So Christina, let's just reverse that process, get it back so that we can finish this quilt. Okay, let's right. do it. Let's go. We got it all done. Whoa. I know. I feel like I got my workout for the day. Woo, moving that machine, even with a buddy, it's kind of heavy, yep. but that's okay. So really, it's as simple as that. So yep. don't forget, just a reminder again, how often should we take our machines in for spa days? Every two years or 10 million stitches, whichever comes first. Exactly. So if you quilt a lot, you might actually need to take it in a little more often. All right. Well. Did we miss anything? Did we get it all covered? No, but I think I need to get my machine brought in now. I know. I just was thinking the same thing. I'm like, hmm, when can I bring it in? Okay, no, I have too many. I, How many quilts do I have yeah. waiting? And then I'm thinking, hmm, who do I have to make cookies for? I I, <laughs> mine has to go up the stairs, and yeah. it's a 24, and I'm not uh, carrying that. Mine has to go down <laughs> the stairs, and it's a 24. So yeah, yeah. I'm right there with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe we'll just make cookies together. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to have your quilt featured at the end of one of our videos, be sure to use hashtag HandyQuilter when you post it on social media. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe and have fun quilting.